Uh, hello viewers assalamu alaikum uh, welcome to my youtube channel ishfaq samun vlogs uh, today we'll uh, discuss history of the preamble to indian constitution uh, it is lecture second for class 11 subject political science book first constitution of india and topic is history of the preamble to Indian Constitution. Uh, before discussing uh, the main topic, uh, we'll see uh, that uh, preamble is the introduction or the preface to the Constitution. Uh, it lays down the basic principles and objectives of the Constitution. Uh, it's the introduction or exposition uh, in a document to br briefly explain its philosophies and objectives. Uh, the preamble uh, of Indian Constitution acts like the uh, introduction that presents the intentions of the framers, uh, the core values, principles, and history behind the creation of the Constitution. Uh, let's get uh, started. Preamble. Uh, the preamble is the introduction or the preface to the constitution. It lays down the basic principles and objectives of the constitution. Uh, importance of the preamble. It contains the philosophy to build and develop the entire constitution and hence is called the soul of the constitution. Here is the constitution uh, uh, preamble to the constitution of India. Uh, in it, it is written. Uh, with the people of India having solemnly resolved to constitute India into a sovereign, socially secular, democratic republic and to secure to all its citizens justice, social, economic and political, liberty of thought, expression, belief, faith and worship, equality of states and opportunities and to promote among them all fraternity, assuring the dignity of the individual and the unity and integrity of a nation. So, uh, Constitution of India was uh, completed on November 1949 and every year uh, it is celebrated as the Republic uh, Day of India in uh, the month of January the day is 26th so 26th January is celebrated as the uh, as the Republic Day of India <coughs> uh, uh, the ideals behind the preamble to Indian Constitution were laid down by Jawaharlal Nehru. Objective resolution adopted by the Constitution Assembly on January 22, 1947. Although not enforceable in court, the preamble states the objectives of the Constitution and acts as an aid during the interpretation of articles when language is found ambiguous. Components of preamble. It is indicated by the preamble that the source of authority of the constitution lies with the people of india preamble declares india to be a sovereign socially secular and democratic republic the objectives stated by the preamble are to uh, secure justice liberty equality to all citizens and promote fraternity uh, fraternity to maintain unity and integrity of uh, the nation the date is mentioned in the preamble when it was adopted, November 26, 1949. Keywords in the preamble. With the people of India, it indicates the ultimate sovereignty of the people of India. Sovereignty means the independent authority of the state not being subject to the control of any other state or external power. Sovereign, the term uh, means that India has its own independent authority and it is not a dominion of any other external power. In the country, the legislature has the power to make laws which are subject to certain limitations. Socialist, the term means uh, the achievement of socialist ends through democratic means. It holds faith in a mixed economy where both private and public sectors coexist side by side. It was adopted in the preamble by 42nd Amendment Act 1976. Uh, secular, the term means that all uh, religious uh, religions in India get equal respect, protection, and support from the state. Uh, 
it was incorporated in the preamble by 42nd Constitutional Amendment 1976. Democratic, the term implies that the Constitution of India has uh, an established form of Constitution which gets its authority from uh, the will of the people express it in the, an election. The public, the term indicates that the head of the state is elected by the people. In India, the President of India is elected uh, head of the state. Objectives of the Indian Constitution. The Constitution is the supreme law and it helps to maintain integrity in the society and to promote unity among the citizens to build uh, a great nation. Uh, the main objectives of the Indian Constitution is to promote harmony throughout the nation. The factors which help in achieving this objective are justice. It is necessary to maintain order in society that is promised through various provisions of fundamental rights and direct principles of state policy provided by the Constitution of India. It comprises three elements which is social, economic and uh, political. Social justice means that the Constitution wants to create a society without discrimination on any grounds like caste, creed, gender, religion, etc. Economic justice means no discrimination can be caused by people on the basis of their wealth, income and economic states. Every person must be paid equally for an equal position and all people must get opportunities to earn for their living. Political justice means that the people have an equal, free and fair right without any discrimination to participate in political uh, activities and opportunities. Equality. The term equality means no section of society has any special privileges and all the people have given equal opportunities for everything without any discrimination. Uh, everyone is equal before uh, the law. Liberty. The term liberty means freedom for uh, the people to choose their way of life, have political views and behavior in society. Liberty does not uh, mean freedom to do anything. A person can do anything but in the limit set uh, by the law. Fraternity. The fr term fraternity means a feeling of brotherhood and an emotional attachment with the country and all the people. Fraternity helps to promote dignity and unity in the nation. Importance of objectives. It provides a way of life. It includes fraternity, liberty and equality as the uh, notion of a happy life and which can not be taken from uh, each other. Uh, further, liberty cannot be diverted from equality. Equality cannot be diverted from liberty. Nor can liberty and equality be diverted from fraternity. Without equality, liberty would produce the supremacy of the favor over the many, uh, the few over the many. Equality without liberty uh, would kill individual initiative. Without fraternity, liberty would produce the supremacy of the few over the many. Without fraternity, liberty and equality could not become a natural course of things. Uh, states of preamble. The preamble uh, being part of the Constitution is discussed several times in the Supreme Court. It can be understood by reading the following two ca cases. Uh, Barbary case, it was used as a reference under Article 143.1 of the Constitution, which was on the implementation of the Indo-Pakistan Agreement related to the uh, Beriburi Union and in exchanging the enclaves which were decided for consideration by the bench consisting of eight judges. Uh, though the uh, Beriburi case, the court stated that preamble is the key to open the mind of the makers but it cannot be considered as part of the condition. Therefore, it is not enforceable uh, in a court of law. Uh, further, Kheshwananda Bharati case. In this case, for the first time, a bench of 13 judges was assembled to hear a writ petition. The court held that the preamble of the Constitution will now be considered as part of the Constitution. The preamble is not the supreme power or source of any restriction or uh, prohibition, but it plays an important role in the interpretation of statutes and provisions of the Constitution. So, it can be concluded that preamble is part of the introductory part of the constitution
As a part of the Constitution, preamble can be amended under Article 368 of the Constitution of India, but the basic structure of the preamble cannot be amended. Uh, in the 1995 case of Union Government versus LIC of India, also the Supreme Court has once again held that preamble is the integral part of the Constitution, but it is uh, not directly enforceable in a court of justice in India. Amendment of the Preamble 42nd Amendment Act 1976 After the judgment of the Keshwananda Bharati case, it was accepted that the Preamble is uh, part of uh, the Constitution. As of now, the Preamble is only amended once through the 42nd Amendment Act 1976. The term Socialist, Secular and Integrity were added to the Preamble through 42nd Amendment Act 1976. Socialist and secular were added between sovereign and democratic. Unity of the nation was changed to unity and integrity of uh, the nation. Uh, with this, we have concluded today's uh, topic, Preamble to the Constitution of India. Uh, we'll be coming soon. If you want to talk with us, uh, uh, WhatsApp number is visible on the screen. Email ID is also uh, visible on screen. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe uh, to uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, uh, we'll meet soon. Till then, Allah Hafiz.